the forehead of your robot. Aotagatara, Sea of Trees, is a forest that lies at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan. As of 2013, 150 bodies, subject to change, were found in this cursed forest. My occupation deals with investigating different kinds of ecosystems and making a database for scientists. I loved my job, I was able to travel all over the world, see nature's most beautiful creations and experience the thrill of discovering a new species, both flora and fauna. After my visit to the swamps in Liberia, the scientists asked me to take a long holiday which was very nice of them. I could spend some time with my family, my nephews and nieces wanted me to take them to a theme park. I was off duty for about a month and a half and was desperate to see where they would send me next. They called me about three days later and asked me to go to Japan. They wanted me to visit the Aokagatara forest in Japan, literally meaning, Sea of Trees. I did a little bit of research about the place and what I found made me a little anxious. This forest was said to be the most popular suicide destination in Japan, it was a little discouraging but it was my job and I had to travel to the forest. The forest entrance was extremely intimidating and I felt extremely nauseous as I started to walk. The guide said that the government placed signs all over the forest trying to discourage the people from committing suicide. Many of the signs said, think about your family, life is precious, but the one that amused me the most was, a bear will defecate on your corpse. The whole atmosphere of the place was negative. I realized that I would have to spend a night in the forest to be able to analyze the whole place. The guide said that he will come meet me in the morning. I did want to be alone especially in places like this, but I did not want to be a burden to him so I did not ask him to stay. As I looked for a place to pitch a tent, I stumbled upon a sign. They did not take their own lives, he did. This sign ruined my night and I started to get the feeling that I was being watched. I felt extremely uncomfortable and during the little sleep I had, I could only see a pair of horrifying eyes and they just stared into my eyes. I woke up an hour later and threw up, I was tired and dehydrated. I wasn't able to even sit up, my feet were numb and I felt like my brain was trying to burst through my skull. A few minutes passed and my guide arrived and took me to a hospital, they said that those were the symptoms of extreme stress and asked me to rest for a couple of days. I took the next flight home and told the scientists that I was really unwell, they asked me to call them when I got better. I received an email on the same day I came home, from a very odd email address. It came with a video attached, aopagatara.wmv, and the contents horrified me. The very same eyes that I dreamt of were in that video, just staring. It has watched me throughout the journey and I cannot forget it. I fear that I may one day wake up to see the eyes, staring back at me.